Katie Davenport. I'm an implementation specialist at the Clearinghouse for Military Family Readiness at Penn State University. My background is in public policy. We'd like to thank you for joining us today for this presentation. So let's begin. In this podcast, we will discuss the different sections that make up the Clearinghouse fact sheets to give you a better understanding of the information provided within. At this time, you should pause this podcast and print out the strong African American Families fact sheet linked in the description below. Once you have the fact sheet, resume and follow along. Now that you have the strong African American Families fact sheet, you see that many key pieces of information are provided to narrow the focus of your program search. The first section you will notice on the program fact sheet is the target audience. This section states who this program is intended for. The specified target audience is also identified by an icon located in the top right hand corner of the fact sheet. In the Strong African American Families fact sheet, the program target audience is rural African American youth ages 10 to 12 and their families. Also notice the families icon in the top right. The summary section of the fact sheet provides a short description of what the program is about and the goals of the program. Strong African American Families is a family centered program developed to prevent alcohol use and other substance use among rural African American youth through the improvement of parent and youth competence. The component section states what participants will be doing in this program. To the right of this section, you will also see sector and topic area icons to readily identify where the program is implemented and the range of topics it addresses. The icons to the right of the component section of the Strong African American Families Fact Sheet identify that the program is family-based and focuses on topics such as parenting, alcohol, and drugs and communication. The previous use section states where, if any locations, the program has been or is being used. This is also where we state if the program has been used among the military. If so, you will find an icon representing the service branch that has used it to the right of this section. On the Strong African American Families fact sheet, you can see that the program has been tested with over 600 African American families. You can also see that this program has not been used by the military since no service branch icon appears to the right. The consideration section includes things to think about prior to implementation. Considerations could include things such as time, cost, space, recruitment, childcare, or the level of commitment. These could vary depending on the implementation situation and are not always known prior to implementing the program. If you are implementing a program, we are more than happy to address considerations with you. Training cost and time are other important variables. The training section indicates who needs to be trained, if training is required, and training costs and length of training. The cost section provides a range of costs for implementing the program, including material fees. Here you may also see a statement and a figure regarding the cost effectiveness of the program as determined by the Washington State Institute for Public Policy. The time section refers to implementation time. It addresses the time it takes to start up the program and the length of the program, including any additional booster sessions. The evidence section summarizes the research design method used, whether it be a randomized control trial or a quasi-experimental design. Also, another important feature of this section is whether or not the study or studies were conducted by the program developer or replicated by an external source. Positive and negative outcomes of the studies are also included in this section. Under evidence on the Strong African American Families Fact Sheet, it states that a randomized prevention trial found that African American families participating in SAFE experienced increased, increases in communicative parenting practices, increased youth protective factors, which have been found to decrease the likelihood of alcohol use, reduce initiation of alcohol use, and slow the use of alcohol over time. The evaluation plan discusses what is needed to move this program up on the Clearinghouse Continuum of Evidence. The SAFE program fact sheet reads that the Clearinghouse can help you to develop an evaluation plan to ensure the program components are meeting your goals. Finally, the placement is represented by an icon in the top right under the target audience icon for easy identification. On the example fact sheet, you will see that the SAFE program is placed as promising. You can see this designation under the target audience icon in the upper right. The last important piece of information on the Clearinghouse fact sheet is the contact information for the program. The contact will either be a developer or a person associated with the program that can answer in depth or specific questions regarding program information, training, and materials. Also, don't forget about the Clearinghouse as a contact. At the Clearinghouse, we have individuals dedicated to assist you as you plan for, implement, and seek information regarding evidence-based programs. 
Thank you for watching.